Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from recipes old and new, compiled by the PTA at PS1 in Tottenville, Staten Island in 1978, we're gonna be making the pepper and onion hero. And uh, this was sent in by Jamie, whose grandmother is the one who compiled this compendium of recipes. First thing we gotta do is fry up some onions and peppers. Now, it did say to use Italian frying peppers. Um, we didn't have any of those in a store near me, and so I looked it up. Cubanelles would've been a good choice. Didn't have those in the stores. So I read that uh, a green bell pepper is an okay proxy. Not ideal, but that's what we gotta do. Okay, now we add in scrambled eggs. Now we put our scrambled egg mixture on the bottom of a roll. Top with spaghetti sauce. Top that with sliced mozzarella cheese. Then under the broiler to melt. Okay, let's give this pepper and onion hero. Go. No way this is not delicious. <laughs> Got a little color on the peppers, a little color on the onions, and then the marinara sauce and the mozzarella cheese. While the eggs are nice, they're not really bringing a whole lot flavor-wise, but they are bringing body to the sandwich. Um, I do want to plus it up, and I think you know exactly where I'm headed. So I'm going to go with crushing uh, red pepper flakes. This is a combination of cayenne, croillo, red jalapeno, and cobanero. It's quite spicy. Okay, let's give this pepper and onion hero plussed up with the crushing red chili flakes. A go. It's pretty bare bones, but it's basically like you're having like a eggplant parmesan, except for it's not the eggplant fried. You just got eggs, peppers, and onions. All right, well, I gotta say the original pepper and onion hero sandwich was mighty tasty. I mean, how could it not? Onions, peppers, uh, spaghetti sauce, mozzarella. It's just a tasty kind of Parmesan sandwich, if you will, like a eggplant Parmesan or whatever. Um, I'm gonna give that eight and a half. Plus up with the crushing red pepper blend, which I really enjoy. I like the, how hot it is. I'm gonna give that a nine and a half. That is delicious. I would eat this any day of the week. And I am definitely gonna finish half of that. Uh, I say that because Christine's already finishing the other half. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.